Welcome to Tie Dye. It's me, Radio Ron, with Jess the intern. And we are really, really fortunate to have on the phone the curator of a wonderful exhibit that is at the New York Historical Society in Manhattan, New York, New York, Nina Nazionale. Hello, Nina. How are you? Hi, I'm doing really well. Thanks. We are going to make it up to New York here within the next 14 days to come see this whole exhibit ourselves. But please, tell us all about it. Welcome into Tie Dyed. And everyone <laughs> uh, is dropping what they're doing to take a <laughs> listen because it is the Grateful Dead, and it's, it's just a part of everyone's life, Bob Weir's life and Phil and Jerry Kreutzmann and, and, and everybody. The New York Historical Society has been in business for a long while, right? Since the... Well, since 1804, so wow. over 200 years, yep. Wow. And how long, the building that you're in now, how long has that been around? The building was finished in 1908, so it's a little younger. <laughs> just, just a babe. Just a little baby. Uh, how big of a place is the society? Uh, we have never been there. What would we see when we walk in? The one exhibit that's up is the one that I hope everyone's really interested in, which is now playing, the Grateful Dead now playing at the New York Historical Society. And I know that it's been said that it's a large-scale exhibit. I would say medium-scale. I don't want anyone to be disappointed. It's about 1,800 square feet. The exhibit is basically selections from the Grateful Dead archive that was donated to the University of California, Santa Cruz, in 2008. Um, they are under construction out there. Uh, at the library, and they didn't have a place to exhibit materials. And so we were in contact back and forth, discussions occurred, and we're so happy that we're able to have even a small part of the archive on display here. Now give us the address of where to go to see all this. Where are you located? Okay, we're at um, 2 West 77th Street, Manhattan, and that's right by Central Park. Should we leave our car in New Jersey, Pennsylvania? <laughs> and, and How's the parking out there? Should we just parking take... Is, take public transportation if you can. Okay. I mean, I like, to, I like to say that to, to everyone anyway, you know, just in general, but um, there, the two subway lines stop within a block of our building and there's also a bus you know if you happen to live if, or you're traveling around manhattan well this is more than dennis's posters this is tell us some of the fun fun and odd things about the exhibit uh, don't give out too much here we do want to come <laughs> but tell us some of the fun and odd things that we will see okay well you know if you don't mind i'll just i'll start by telling you the four main sections that we have which sure. are beginnings artistry business and community, so people can get a sense of how it flows in the exhibit. Um, and in the beginnings, we just we do have great posters and photographs from the Bay Area, but also New York City, and there are particularly great photos of the Fillmore East that I think a lot of people will be seeing for the first time, and so that's exciting. We also, we were able to get various instruments from band members. So I don't, you say not to give away too much, but I will say that Jerry Garcia's Rosebud guitar is here from, that's from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland. Oh, you could um, give it out. It, it, what about, <laughs> what about Wolf? Do you have Wolf? No, we don't have Wolf. Okay. Um, but, and, and we don't have Tiger, but we all, we have Ace, which is a Bob Weir guitar um, from the, I think, 72. Right. So that's on display. And then in terms of the archive, we have what I, one of the things I really like is I think most fans know about the Wall of Sound from yep. 1974 and how amazing that was in terms of just so creative and such a huge, literally, attempt to, to make sure that all the fans in the audience could hear optimally. And there are sketches that were done in preparation for the Wall of Sound. So they're hand-done drawings that are in the archive, and they've been attributed to Bob Matthews. So I think seeing these drawings will really be exciting for, for a lot of people. What was it like to get the call saying that <laughs> we want to bring all this to New York? I mean, how excited were you? Very excited. And actually what Deborah, Deborah Schmidt-Bach is my co-curator on this, and we went to the archive. The archive didn't come to us. So we were out there for 4.3 days last September 2009, and we were trying to simultaneously select things, but also to start to figure out if, if we were coming to this exhibit, what would we want to see? And we, we had limited time, and also the collection has not been fully processed, and 
not everything you couldn't say oh well show me the jake blakesburg photograph of the fans dancing because it, it wasn't organized like that so we spent time trying to do a lot of different things simultaneously and i have to say it was really exciting to be out there and to be able to go through the archive and and i want to say too that if people who are really into this and want to do research the whole archive will be open to the public probably about a year and a half from now but you have to go to santa cruz for that is anybody any artist anybody took a photo anybody from the grateful dead showed up yet bob weir and phil lesh were here on october 21st because we to do a fundraiser for this exhibit they were they were into it enough to come here and play in the library reading room, which was really cool, um, because I am, I'm a librarian here, so it was where I spend most of my time, and they set up and, and were playing. And I, your fans will, I mean, your listeners will very well know the band Wig Jam, which is, um, they do covers of The Grateful Dead, but they also on that night played with Bob Weir and Phil Lesh, so the whole thing was really cool. Had to be the greatest night in that band's life. <laughs> right? Yeah, I hope they look like they're having an awfully good time, I have to say. Wow. You Bill. can see that on YouTube also if you if you want. So. All right, so what do we type out on YouTube? Um, I would do maybe New York Historical Society October 21st. Okay. And then if that doesn't work, throw in Bob Weir and Phil Lush for very good measure. What would we do without YouTube, you know? 